Oh, God. Are those boobs? What is going on, everybody? I am Brandon, aka The Frustrated Gamer, and welcome back to The Road Trip. So I haven't played this game in close to two weeks, and I miss it. I love this game. I've really been enjoying it, but I've just had so many things on the list, and some of you guys have said, hey, let's, let's play some other things. So I just haven't gotten to it in about two weeks. But we're back. We just got away from the Fat Guy Strangler where we left off, and I think the next chapter is called The Highway, if I'm not mistaken. So I have no idea what this one entails. I know the fat guy strangler was chapter four, so I kind of knew what to expect. I mean, I guess we're going to be on a highway, but I don't really know what else to expect in this chapter. All right, it appears it's, yep, every single chapter starts with either me or my uncle passed out on the floor somewhere. Usually it's in the burger place, but this time I don't, are we? Where are we? Oh, we're outside our motel. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. So we were in our motel, but we still ended up sleeping outside? I don't get it. Why didn't we just sleep in our room? It's also really cold. It appears to be snowing. Why would he be outside? Gonna get hyperthermia that way. All right, leave Sal's Burgers and enter your vehicle. Oh, we're not at our motel? I guess we're at the burger place, but it says motel right there. I don't know. We're gonna get in our vehicle and be on our way. I have a feeling our uncle's gonna somehow be in the car. He was just there sleeping. He was literally just there sleeping. And, yep, you guessed it. He's in the car, and he's, come on, lad, let's get in already and hit the road. He's already bothering me to get ready. I don't get it. He was literally just sleeping right over there. And now he's somehow in the car. That ugly son of a bitch is right there with his big gum line and bald spot on the top. Oh, we got one hell of a family here in this game. All right, so if I remember correctly, we made a left in here. So I assume we're going to, up. Oh, take a left. All right, cool. Good morning. Here's the beef. Nervous and exciting news. Word has been spreading like wildfire that these two men are traveling all around Canada to search for the amazing Mr. Ribs. That's us. These two heroes are becoming local legends, and let's hope they achieve their dreams. That's us. In other news, a psychotic murderer, Bert Jenkins, that recently escaped his psych ward, has been apprehended. Witnesses report that an elderly old lady, described to be the Fat Guy Strangler, was caught strangling him and fled the scene. Bert so Jenkins is now in police custody, but the fat guy strangler is still loose. That's the morning news with the beaver. Enjoy, folks. Well, after I destroyed every square inch of my car. So the fat guy strangler... Is there a car coming towards us? Oh, no, we're just in traffic. Okay. Anyway, so the fat guy strangler got a hold of the, the hitchhiker from Chapter 2? That's awesome! All right, so we're in traffic now. Really? They're going to make me drive in traffic in this game now, too? I just think it's funny that our two sworn enemies, the fat guy strangler and the hitchhiker, had an encounter together. I wish I could have seen that. I'm loving these tunes from the Beaver FM radio, man. Man, I hate highways. Everyone is in a rush and act like a bunch of ass walls. I mean, look around at these fat pieces of S-word. Where are they all going? Also, did anything happen last night when I passed out in the car? Which was not my fault, by the way. Once again, you left me alone with an insane killer. Yeah, we're gonna say that. He'll think I'm joking. I have had quite enough of your bullshit. Hey, hey, uncle. Hey, uncle. You almost got me killed twice now. All right, the music's starting to get a little bit more intense. It makes me think something is bound to happen soon. Oh, crap. We went over the median. We're now driving on the wrong side of the road. I'm gonna try to go back over. Damn it, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're driving on the wrong side of the road. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to try it. Hey, at least there's no traffic now. Oh, there's cars coming at me. Slow down, boy. There's a hitchhiker on the right there. Well, we can't get him because we're on the wrong side of the road. Oh, can we get back over? Hey, we pulled it off. Oh, my God. This person looks more insane than the last two. Yo, dog, please stop for me. Yeah, dog, you are my homie for life. I cannot thank you enough for giving me a ride. Yo, for reals, man, you mind if I hop in this jalopy? Yeah, I do kind of mind. I do kind of mind. Jalopy? Oh, uncle's not happy. Uncle's not happy. Not sure I could trust you, buddy. Of course we will give you a ride. Um, let's say we're not going to trust him. We don't trust him. Oh, uh, well, that's too bad because I got a loaded gun on me and I'm not going to take no as an answer. Now move on, old man. I'm sitting in the front. What is up with these people in Canada? Come on, dog. Hurry yo ass up. We don't got all day. So I guess I put his bags in the trunk. So I did him a favor, and he's rushing me. 
These people are si Oh, God. Are those boobs? Are those boobs? What? What? Okay. All right, I guess I have to start this car. This is just great. Then we got our third hitchhiker in the car, and he's already told us that he's got a loaded weapon. Speaking of making yourself at home, he kicks Uncle in the back. He's lounging with his hands behind his head like he belongs here. We said no. We told him no. For real, though, you got nothing to worry about. I ain't a bad guy. Well, at least on how I look at it. <laughs> oh, boy. How do you look at it? Please don't take my wallet. We're going to try to be polite, this guy. Well, man, what I'm saying is, when I'm hungry and I'm Mr. Ribs, I ain't paying a dollar. So a little craftsmanship, so I get one for free. So he's a robber. He's a thief. And by craftsmanship, I mean I aim a Glock at his face. Oh, God. So he basically holds these people up at the Bob's Burger place and just steals Mr. Ribs sandwiches. So we've had a serial killer. We've had a strangler. The fat guy strangler, to be exact. Now we've got some... I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain this guy. He's just like a hippie thief that steals burgers. I don't know. It looks like he's been doing a good job stealing burgers, too. Because, boy, does he have a gut. Why do we keep stopping for these hitchhikers? Clearly, they haven't been working out very well. Why do we keep stopping? You think we would just keep driving? So have any of you crackers ever shot a gun? Uh, because I please forgive me when I say you two crackers look like most uptight. Actually, man, I happen to have a revolver in my glove box. Well, why would Uncle say that? Now he's going to grab it. I used to scare pesky children off my lawn. I'm assuming that was Uncle saying that. And I don't give two shits what you think about me, you hippie. Get a job. You know, it's a good thing you guys have that gun. Because we're going to need it soon. What does that mean? No, I knew it. Boy, don't listen to a word this lunatic says. I guarantee if you do what this guy says, you're going to end up being shot to death by the police or being a bum on the side of the street. Man, this old guy has been seeing too many movies recently. I promise none of that will happen. I'm kind of ad-libbing at this point because the words go way too fast for my brain to handle. I'm too fat for prison. <laughs> Shut it, old man. Everything will be coolio. Well, while we are waiting here in traffic on the highway, let's look at two of the ugliest people you've ever seen. This guy... And then the winner of all of them, our uncle. That guy is one ugly son of a gun, man. Is that a is that a burger place in the distance? Is that a sign for the burger place in the distance? I don't know. It looks like it. Nope, it's just a billboard. Damn it. Take a right, homie. Oh, I don't want to go right, but I'm going to follow him. I'm going to follow him. We're just about here. Oh, no. He said, follow my lead. I have no idea what mess we're getting into right now, but I have a feeling it's going to end with us dying brutally. Oh, where are we? I hear a lot of cars. At least we're not in a secluded area. Sal's gas? Okay. Mooseland gas station. Oh, he's got a gun! Oh, he's robbing a he's robbing a gas station. God damn it. So now my job is to successfully rob this gas station? Alright, homie, watch the cashier while I go find the safe. No getting trigger happy. Press the left key to shoot. Stop, please don't shoot. Just get out of my store. Um, well, I'm not going to shoot him. If you don't get out, I will call the police. Oh, uh, what do I do? He's going to start calling the cops, and I'm going to have to shoot him. Shut the F up. Just calm down. Calm down? How can I calm down when you have a gun in my face? I don't blame the guy. I really don't blame the guy. I will tell you nothing. Now get out. We asked him to tell us the code to the safe. Bitch, you better start talking. You need to calm down and listen to me. Stop yelling, or I will be forced to shoot you. Uh, we're gonna say you need to calm down and listen to me. Okay, I'm calm now. Okay, I don't want any trouble. That's all. Now tell me the code to the safe. Yeah, that's what we're gonna say. Well, why should I? You're not going to shoot me. You don't have it in you. Oh, now he's taunting me? So I am going to be alerting the authorities, and if you're not going to shoot... Ah, oh, damn it. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, he just, he just pressed the button. He pressed the button. We got to get out of here. Now you better run, fatty. Have, oh, no. Shit, homie, the popo are on their way. Look out. Well, I'm not going to shoot him now. He already called the, oh, mama. He's got a gun. Shoot him. Oh, I got shot by the cops. Oh, no. You are dead. You were horribly shot to death by the police. Try talking down to the store clerk from alerting the authorities by making him feel calm as well as afraid. 
Well, why don't I just shoot him? That would work too, right? Oh, it looks like it leads us off right at the gas station. Good, okay. I thought we were going to have to start all the way over because we went a long way so far in this chapter. All right, so I don't know exactly what to do. This guy's a real piece of freaking work, man. Stop, please don't shoot. Just get out of my store. All right, well, we're not going to shoot him yet. We have to keep him afraid but not nervous enough to call the police. I don't know. If you don't get out of here, I will call the police. Shut that. Now nah, I'm just going to say just calm down. Calm down. How can I calm down when you have a gun to my face? We already did all this, but I'm going to try to keep him as calm as possible. Calm as possible. Yo, homie, make that bitch tell you the code to the safe. And make sure he doesn't alert the popo. There's probably a switch behind the desk that will call them. I will tell you nothing. Now get out of my store. All right, I'm still not shooting him. Well, bitch, you better start talking. You need to calm down and listen to me. Stop yelling or I will be forced to shoot you. Yeah, we're going to go with that one this time. Okay, okay. I don't want to be shot. I'm listening. Just don't do anything stupid. All right, this is new. Now tell me the code to the safe. Shut it and tell me the code now. Um, we're going to go with that one. Shh. Okay, okay. First digit is one. Okay, we got one. We got one. I, I can't tell you the digits. My life savings are in there. All my profits from this business. Please don't do this. You have three seconds to give me the code. I'm sorry, but you need to give it to us. We're giving him three seconds. Don't shoot. The second digit is two. Oh, God, just leave. So we got one and two. Do not make me ask for the third digit. You're doing great. Now, the third. Now we're going to say, do not make me. We're going to keep him scared. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I will become bankrupt. Take anything else, okay? It's better than being, it's better being bankrupt than shot in the head. Uh, we're going to go that one. We're going to go that one. I'm just going to have to take that risk. I, can, I can't lose all that money. All right, we're going to have to shoot this guy soon. Damn it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. No, they called the cops on me again. What did I do wrong? I'm going down. Damn. Shot again. I thought I was doing better that time. We got two of the digits. Now, I don't know if those two digits that he gave me were right. But he gave me two digits, so I feel like I was better off than last time. I kind of want to shoot this guy just to see what happens. Ah, I'm doing it. Why not? Shoot. Uh, just calm down. Can I not shoot him? Ah. Oh! Oh, no. Shit, man. Why did you shoot him? Uh, because I wanted to see what happened. Well done. Just get out of here. Quick to the car. Is that all I had to do? All I had to do is shoot him to move on? Are you kidding me? But they didn't get in the safe. Hurry up, fat ass. The police are on their way. All right, what do we have to do? We got to get in the car. We got to get in the car. Oh, go, go. Escape from the scene of the crime. Eh. Oh, e. All right, this freaking jalopy better hold up. It better hold up in a car chase. Oh, he's got the freaking gun with him right there. It looks like an AK-47. Take a right and step on it. I ain't going back to prison. Back to prison? Oh, God, this guy's already been to prison before. Well, I kind of understand why. I mean, the freaking guy is holding an automatic rifle. Also, how do the cops know that we shot that guy? I feel like we shot him before he hit any alarm or anything. How the heck are they after us? There's no way they would know that. Why would you shoot that guy? Now we're going to get locked up forever, you idiot. Well, I panicked. Hey, that was actually one of the answer choices. I'm going to go with it. You panicked? Shriver happy white boy? Can't handle a simple convenience store robbery? No, I can't. That's not normal. It's not normal to rob a convenience store. What have we done? I'm freaking out back here. I told you not to pick this guy up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn it. I didn't see that. Oh, now the police are going to get us and they're going to find us out all that we did. Please calm down. What do you mean? You haven't done anything. All right, we're going to say that. Well, now we're going the wrong way on the road because I was an idiot and ran into the construction zone. We're going to have cars coming right at us. Yep. I'm on the wrong side of the road. I am driving in England right now, and I am on the wrong side of the road. Well, if the cops weren't coming after us before for the murder, they're going to be coming after us now because we are driving on the highway just on the wrong side. That's all. Oh, here we go. The Popo are coming after us, and I am not going back to prison. Oh, this there's going to be like a shootout. They just bloody shot him. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm flipping. Oh. Hey, guys. Fever here with Spurgeon. According to local officials, there is an ongoing police pursuit with those guys searching for the Mr. Ribs. You two badasses are listening to us right now. Oh, they shot me! They shot me! You're a fool, I told you- Oh, damn it. The interrogation? I thought we were shot. Maybe they just like shot us in the leg? I don't know, I'm confused. Every single thing is saying chapter 5 though, so we're not on into the next chapter yet. Uh-oh, so here comes the interrogation. 
Oh, that's one hell of a cop right there. It was just a flesh wound, you big cryberry baby. Luckily, you're fat, and that was that was stopping it. Okay, who are you? How did I get here? Where am I? I'm gonna ask, where am I? You're in a holding room in a police station, sir. Okay, that's not good. I'm a detective with the MPD. You were brought in after getting a gunshot. What? Now, sir, do you see this firearm here? That was used to commit murder. Well, I guess I did that. Uh... Yes, officer, that's mine. I've never seen that before in my life. Deny until you die. Oh, is that right? You're going to play that? All right. This gun was used to kill a man that had a loving family with three kids and a caring wife. Oh, you're making me feel bad. Now I'm going to ask you one more time. Does this gun belong to you or anyone you know? Um, no, we're going to keep lying. We're going to keep lying. I am done playing games with you, sir. You picked up a dangerous African-American with your uncle and he robbed the convenience store. Do you not think for a moment getting away with this? Oh, no. Okay, sir, I want to answer some yes or no questions and determine if you're lying or not. All right. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, sir, let's begin by asking if you were indeed at the Sal's gas station yesterday. Yes, I was. Good. All right, next question. What's the next question? Did you pick up an overnight or an overweight African-American man that was hitchhiking? Um, we're going to say yes. All right, good. I don't know what to lie and what to tell the truth to this guy. I'm just trying to get away with it. Did you evade the police on the highway and refuse to pull over? Well, I guess I did, right? Yes. All right, we're getting somewhere. But I'm kind of guilting myself by saying all these questions, but they know these already. Last question. I want you to answer this one without lying. It's very important. He's going to ask me if I kill him. Did you shoot the cashier working at Sal's gas station with your uncle's revolver? No. No, I did no such thing. All right, you are clearly a lying bastard, and I'm placing you under arrest for manslaughter? What? You have done... Oh. Damn it. Is that it? Am I... Is that going to be the end? No. Oh, I'm in the same cell as the hitchhiker. Oh, this stinks. You and your uncle have <laughs> failed to escape from the police. You have been sentenced to 20 years in prison for murder and evading. You and your uncle will be remembered as failures that got caught. Credits? That's the end of the game? No, that can't be the end of this game. You have achieved ending B, the failure ending. Thanks for playing. All right, well, I guess that's the end of the road trip. We still haven't gotten our Mr. Ribs burgers, and I've played this game. How many parts is this? Four, five? I don't even know. Well, I am going to try to play the end one more time and get the happy ending where hopefully me and Uncle finally get our Mr. Ribs burger. Um, but we're going to see. I had a good time playing this game. Like I said, I'll probably make one more part of the road trip where I get to the happy ending. Hopefully, I'll be able to get there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the road trip. I definitely did. If you did, smash that like button down low. If you're not already part of the TFG, G squad, the Frustrated Gamer squad. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Frustrated Gamer community today. And yeah, that's about all the time I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video.